Welcome back to the channel everybody. This is Todd. Uh, as requested, I'm going to show the recipe that I used for the uh, for that Delta 8 cocktail I made. Now y'all please, please forgive my camera work here. I, I don't do these sorts of videos and I'm, I am ill prepared in that regard. Um, you know, I, I, I use my phone so, you know, this is what it is. But uh, I'm going to try to do, I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Uh, what I have here is one cup. These are equal parts. I mean, it's just different containers. But one cup sugar, one cup water. So to make simple syrup, it's super easy. Maybe that's why they call it simple. I don't know. Uh, but it's just equal parts. Sugar and water. Uh, heat that stuff up. And technically, all you got to do is, is uh, get it to the point where your sugar's melted. Um, but since we're going to put rosemary in here, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and let it, probably just let it bring it to a boil and turn it off. And I know from past experience that that's about the right amount of rosemary that I need. And obviously this, this, all this stuff I'm about to do in this video is all, you know, you can do it to taste. So I just go ahead and pitch it in there, stems and everything. Um, because it's easier to fish out that way. Okay, so I just let this boil. I almost dropped that. So I'm just going to kill the heat all together and let this cool just a bit and, you know since I, it's still nice and hot I'm going to check my level of rosemary and that's nice it's just right about where I want it I'll tell you what we'll do just in the, I'm just going to go ahead now and fish these out or I'm going to try to with one hand I'm holding my phone with the other hand because you know I don't have good gear for this sort of thing. You can tell by what's moving all around. But anyway, there you go. That's made, so I'm just going to let put the lid on it, let it cool for a bit, and we'll come back and finish. All right, so <clears throat> that's done and cooled. Now, I'm going to just add what's in here to this. This is uh, the batch that I made a week ago for the uh, for the Delta Force 8 cocktail video I did um, last weekend. See now my little container's full. Okay, so we've made our rosemary simple syrup. I, to be honest with you, I made this yesterday. Uh, but this stuff will keep in the refrigerator for like a month so uh, you can make all you want in advance which is what we do now this this particular cocktail it calls for let me put a little ice in here now y'all are gonna laugh at this my wife is holding the camera standing on furniture because uh, my little wet bar belt is so tiny. Uh, there's no way I could get in here with a camera or anything, or anything. So it calls for simple syrup, syrup as we say here in the deep south. I'm doing about an ounce and a half. Now, I'm cheating, and I'll tell you why right now. Uh, and then I'm going to do about an ounce and a half of lime. And then an equal part lemon. Now the, the actual recipe only calls for the lemon, but we like it with the lime. Okay. Now it would also call for a couple of ounces of gin, but we're not going to do that. We're going to put our Delta Nine, uh, Delta Nine. This is Delta Eight, Delta Force Labs in it, and it does say on this jug, shake well before use. And I, sh I meant to show you before I shook it. I guess it's all of the Delta 8. It's white and it settles on the bottom. So you do have to shake this thing up. And like an edge, there it is. 
Uh, this is a the rare and elusive, or tonight's going to be the rare and elusive 15 milligram dose I've been trying to get to for seemingly like three weeks. Um, normally this would be gin, but uh, this is definitely not gin, and I'm not putting both in there. Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to add a little bit more ice. Why does my ice always have to stick? Yon tab glass. Okay, now the recipe also would call at this point for a club soda topper, which I, I'm not going to do. And I'll tell you why because we've done it with and without, and we rather enjoy it better without. Get your St. Germain's. And And if you like the stuff, uh, St. Germain would go on the top of it as well. And we do that because we're a bit bougie. But it is nice. It really adds a lot to it. The club soda and the water helps to dilute that. Just the, the mixer ingredients would be super intense if you didn't, didn't shake and have ice and a little club soda. But that's just... That's really nice. But it does need... Um, it's so strong and fruity like that so I'm just going to instead of club soda I'm just going to give it a little extra dilution and I didn't bring a spoon in here and that's that Oh yeah, that's perfect. So that's the basics on how you make that. Now there's going to be more of these coming because I'm going to use all our general, you know, basic cocktails that we would generally drink to do this with. That's one of the reasons I've been, was looking for these sorts of concentrates and, and sodas and whatnot. So that's that. All right, so that's made. Now, this is going to be different than all the rest of them that I've been doing. I'm not going to, just in the essence of time, it doesn't really matter. You guys, I've talked all about this already. So I'm not going to sit here and drink this on camera tonight, but what I am going to do is finish this. And that's just tasty. I'm, I am going to finish that. I think I would recommend using the club soda, uh, doing it this way. But I'm going to drink all of this one because uh, I've been trying to build up to that 15 milligrams anyway. And do break this down into, a, I think, a separate video, uh, a reaction video to where I got to with, with this. Um, hopefully, I'll, I'll do them both, two separate uploads uh tomorrow today's monday so if you see just this one on tuesday uh the the second half of this will be coming the next day just depends on how things go so just in case please like and subscribe and enjoy all of your adult beverages responsibly <laughs>